Good morning to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I say good morning to your health. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your destiny. Good morning to your spiritual life. Good morning to your marriage, to your children, to your businesses, your finances. To all that concerns you, I say good morning to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Remember, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Before we go into this video today, I just want to remind you to hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name. Our verse for today is from Proverbs chapter 7, from verse 6 to 23. For the majority of this video, I will be reading and maybe my input a little here and there. But let's just read. And um, by now you all maybe think I, I picking on the women, <laughs> but it's not that. It's Solomon who's speaking. I just to read what Solomon says. <laughs> so as it come, we go into fit. All right. Yeah. So from verse six, it says, "For at the window of my house, I looked through my lattice, and saw among the simple. I perceived among the youths." A young man devoid of understanding. Now let's see the manifestation of that young man who is devoid of understanding. Passing along the street near her corner, and he took the path to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And there a woman met him with the attire of a harlot and a crafty hat. She was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. At times she was outside, at times in the open square, lurking at every corner. She caught him and kissed him. With an impudent face, she said to him, I have peace offerings with me. Today I have paid my vows. So I came out to meet you, diligently to seek your face, and I have found you. I have spread my bed of tapestry, colored coverings of Egyptian linen, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our feel of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home on the appointed day. With her enticing speech, she causes him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Immediately, he went after her as an ox goes to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks till an arrow struck his liver. As a bird hastens to the snare, he did not know it would cost his life. <laughs> I'm not sure how much explanation that you all are expecting from me, requiring from me. But we see a situation where the, the wise man said, this is what he noticed. And whether he saw it for real and actual or he just painted a scenario for us, the fact remains that these things do happen. And he made it very clear to say that this man going into that woman or being deceived or being seduced, being convinced by that woman to go and sleep with her. He say it's like an ox going into the slaughter. Translation, he's saying this is sure death. In all ways of life, you look at it, it's death. Why? If we would go back to the Ten Commandments that God gave, one of the commandments that we should honor, let me paraphrase it, is said that you should not practice adultery or commit adultery. So in other words, you should not covet your neighbor's wife. Fornication alone is already bad in itself. And then now you have adultery, whether it's actually someone else's wife. Whether she wants it or not, it's somebody's wife. And I remember Joseph, Potiphar, left in Joseph's hand all that belonged to him except his wife. The entire kingdom Potiphar put under the charge of Joseph. All his possessions, everything except his wife. 
this wife tried to seduce Joseph. He left his clothes in her hand. He ran away. Joseph was put in prison because he did not sleep with Potiphar's wife. He was put in prison because he was righteous. But who knows? We would not be speaking about that Joseph today. That Joseph that we all know and love and say, you meant it for evil, but my father meant it for my good. This Joseph we know who helped all the children of Israel when during the famine. Would we be speaking about him today if he had slept with Potiphar's wife? Would we be having that same conversation concerning Joseph? No, Joseph's memory would have perished. But Joseph was wise. He did not allow this woman to destroy him. Sometime last night <laughs> at a, a training of ours we had, our, our leader was sharing for us a testimony of this man of God. He said he went to America at this big, big, big church, this big, big popular man of God. Obviously, he didn't mention the guy's name. And he said after ministering, he went back to his hotel room. And there is the pastor, the big popular pastor coming to him saying, you know, well, you are done now. You know, you, you're tired. So I brought some entertainment for you. And behind the pastor was, was two women. So, so the pastor brought some women for the prophet. <laughs> because that is their culture. They, they think you can be in ministry and still be living a kind of life, prostitution, fornication, adultery. <laughs> so the, the prophet tells him, hold on a while, hold on a while. So he go and get his team and bring all his team to see what the pastor is doing. Ladies and gentlemen, let us stay focused. Let us not allow our hormones to get the best of us. Let us just waste them and everything. And the little five minutes of pleasure that you want, ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth all the hard work you put in for you to get to that spiritual level? All that hard work you put in, are you ready and willing to risk it for five minutes of pleasure, 10 minutes of pleasure? If all that, this young man, who the wise man Solomon was speaking about, he got his life destroyed. Who knows? Maybe the man, the husband came home early and met him there. <laughs> so you know his problem in that house. Save yourself from such problem. Be wise. Be wise. In Jesus' name. Jesus. This will bring our video to an end for today. I thank you all so much for being here with me. And I say good morning to you and congratulations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why am I saying congratulations? Because I'm celebrating a few. Why am I celebrating a few? Because your cause for rejoicing, your cause for celebration, has come. Your promotion has come. Your breakthrough has come. Your graduation has come. I see new levels, new grace, new platforms, new audiences. I see you standing before kings. I say good morning to you and congratulations in Jesus' name. Jesus.